I am looking for a female officer who arrived yesterday with a gunshot wound. You need to be a little more specific, honey. Her name is Lewis. She is in a coma. Ah, oh, second floor. Take the elevator. Uh, my wife. She was with me when they started shooting. I'm sorry. No. no. Sir, you're not allowed in there. That's the VIP section of the hospital. But there's so much room in there, and we're all cramped up in this little space. Sir? Hey, Murphy. She's right in here. Another visitor? She's in a stable condition. You know, some think that people in her state can hear what's happening around them even if they don't respond. Why don't you try talking to her? Now, I'll leave you two alone. Hello, Louis. Allow me to update you on our case. I know you would hate to be behind on the investigation. I found Officer Briggs. He is dead. Wendell Antonowski has the street vultures collecting bodies. His intent is not clear. I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. I could really use your advice, Lewis. Take the body downstairs. But there's no more room in the morgue. Didn't you hear? Someone stole a bunch of bodies over the weekend. A corpse thief? What is this world coming to? Lewis, you always find a way to help. I'll keep her safe. Don't you worry about her. What's her blood pressure? I've got 40 pal. Of course, VFEB. Okay, we gotta shock him. Let's get the Ambu bag. Stand clear. Shock him. Clear. All right, no pulse. Let's go intracardiac epinephrine. Okay, everybody, clear. Stand clear. All right, I think that's all we can do. Let's call it. Most of the time. 615. Robocop, what a surprise. I'm guessing you're here about the missing bodies? No one from the police has come to talk to us yet. I suppose you're preoccupied with the living rather than the dead. Tell me about the case. Usually, we're pretty packed. There are even some bodies that have been here since Christmas. But a couple of nights ago, someone broke into the hospital and stole 30 of them. It's been a blessing in disguise, really. We've got so many unclaimed bodies that I feel like I'm starting to form relationships with them. Is there any link between the bodies? Actually, there is. Our thieves were very picky. All of the corpses had their brains intact. They didn't take a single corpse that had documented brain trauma. I've got to say, they were very thorough. Anything else? That's it for me, but talk to the security guard in the lobby. He should know more. Now that I'm looking at you, didn't I work on you? I recognize that jawline.
Good. Finally! I've been calling you guys for the past two days. What do you know about the disappearance at the morgue? Sure, sure, I know I'm just a security guard, but I know how you operate. I've seen the shows, so let me break it down for you the way you'd understand. I estimate the incident occurred at around 300 hours. Multiple perps entered the GMH from the east and then proceeded to the BLE. Then most likely used the EFS to get down to the M-O-R-G-U-E. What can you tell me about the perps? We caught there later. You caught him? Where is he? Oh, I mean on camera. Uh, there it is. Caucasian male, late forties, dapper dresser, if I can say so myself. That was very helpful. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. Just because I don't have a badge or a service weapon or a cruiser and partner or even a bulletproof vest, that doesn't mean that I can't be of help to the police. Good to see you in one piece, Robo. Mr. Becker wasn't happy when he heard about your little trip to Highland Park. But between you and me, what you did was quite impressive. Maybe it wasn't an authorized mission, but it can still give us an idea of how your systems are holding up. So, let's see how you did. Thank you for your cooperation. What's all the commotion? You all know the procedure by now. Officer Cecil will gather Briggs' belongings and deliver them to the family. They asked for a small funeral, so I expect everyone to give the family space. Briggs was one of us. We should at least do something to honor him. Best thing we can do is get those butchers that did this to him. I want to see everyone in the briefing room in ten minutes. Now back to work! Hey, Murphy. You've been to the hospital, haven't you? How's Lewis? Unconscious, but stable. <sighs> She'll pull through. I'm sure of it. It's time to hold OCP accountable. This can't keep happening. Relax, Kaplan. He's not wrong. How many more of us have to end up in the hospital or a morgue before we do something? It's like Sarge said, we need to get the guy who did it, so maybe let's focus on that? Speaking of which, there's someone who might know something. There's a guy in the jail that wants to talk to you, Robo. See you later in the briefing room. Why are you in this cell? I come here to think sometimes, and the food is better than in the soup kitchen. That is resourceful. Why, thank you. I try very hard to not try at all. But seriously, I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He seems pretty good at pitting people against each other. Maybe I'll find some of his dissatisfied customers who'd be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? 
On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well, with Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a... You are not a ronin. Yeah, okay. Just remember, if you need anything, I'm your guy. I love the smell of this room. Should we start? First, I want to watch you practice. Can't... I just hit myself. That was awesome. We are not done yet. Right. This has to be some sort of rap. Not. I took so many notes. Next time, do it quietly. Eliminate distractions. Being overeager is one of them. Ah, so that's the actual lesson. Now I get it. Is your service weapon properly prepared? I was issued this old gun and serviced it according to the manual. I will try it out. Sure thing. There you go. Service weapon is broken. I calibrated it. I did everything the manual said. It is beyond repair. They must have issued it to you by mistake. Huh. I don't think that's entirely true. Other cops give me a hard time because Mr. Becker hired me to monitor you. But I guess that's the way it has to be. A cop must be ready. Get a different gun. Sure. Thank you, Robo. Dan, why am I always the one that has to do it? It's not fair. What is it, officer? Huh? Uh, oh, I, 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 I didn't realize I was talking out loud. It's just that I need to hang Briggs's picture on the memorial wall. It's just... a lot. Hey, would you be so kind and help me? All you have to do is find Briggs' photo in the database and print it out. Just make sure to hang it straight. Otherwise, I won't hear the end of it from Sarge.
Thanks, Murphy. I still need to go get his stuff, so... You know, I'm gonna take care of the desk, but could you get his belongings from his locker? You can put everything in the box. I'll make sure his family gets it. You know, I usually do all of this alone, and it doesn't get any easier no matter how many times I do it. But having you share this responsibility with me, it actually helped. Thank you, Murphy. Thanks to RoboCop's insubordination, we finally have something concrete. At your service. Wendell Antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at Highland Park. A place where, for some reason, we weren't supposed to go. Be that as it may, we're on the lookout for anyone from this biker gang. We also know what he's looking for. Yeah, dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow. That's even more messed up. Why would he need him? We'll get to the whys, but for now we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're onto them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. They're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. What in the hell? I repeat, OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. All right, everyone pack up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out! Look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need, SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. This buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. Suspects are 
Double cop, open the gate for the Ed 209 units. We'll secure the area. Line of work is about the team, not the tech. Robocop, I've received information that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. It's at the far end of the office area. Your presence here is unauthorized. 
So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit? A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? I am working on the no crime part. Then OCP may become the object of your attention soon. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. You can go, but if you continue to disobey the law, you will be detained. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer than OCP's property. Anyway, the city owes you. And I owe you too. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that... Now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. If I was a bank manager, I would probably ask for that switch to be installed somewhere around my desk. I will not contribute to depriving my grateful employer of his hard-earned savings. Robocop! I knew our founder would send his best! We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive. I only played dead so I didn't end up like you, with a bomb strapped to my body. Robocop, you have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. I need the support of a combat engineer. I saw that Orpheus kid playing puzzle games on his brakes. Ask him for help. I'll be watching you from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, I, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but... Just give me a moment. First aid, kidnapping... Are you looking for a bomb defusing chapter in the police manual? Found it. First rule, call qualified personnel. Oh, no. Okay. Tell me what you see. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect from the street vultures. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Okay. So they used this kind of bomb before. According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. I will have to improvise. Just remember, detach the one with the highest voltage first, then proceed down to the lowest voltage.
It was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Cause I need to make a withdrawal. Like now. Well, I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. <laughs> now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. Great. Now out of my way. What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource-heavy project. Uh, I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Arnold's back with the money in the next... Well, you should be proud to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. See what I'm talking about? So that's how they must have gotten here in the first place. It seems they're retreating into the old industrial area. That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry.
God damn it! Anyone listening to this? I am listening, creep. Robocop! Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. There he is! There is our pensions. Before the attack, we all thought our money would be safe at the OCP bank. Yeah, glad we got Murphy on our team. I have pertinent information regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. Hey, what's the big idea? Piece of junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. Robocop, is that you? I can't see anything. I am standing in front of you, Officer O'Neill. Is there a problem? Oh, CP skimps on everything when it comes to the police. Fired our maintenance guy to reduce their costs, so now we are literally in the dark. We need to get the power back on. I am equipped to deal with such situations. Follow the cables. They should take you to the fuse box. Detroit, shining beacon of hope. Thanks for the help, Murphy. So it wasn't I'm ready for you, Robo. Send us insulated gloves. I'm afraid not. Looks like a. I've got plenty to think about for now.
Yeah, just keep following the road. But the road ends here. <laughs> what was that? Uh oh, you're breaking up. <laughs> Am I? I'm, I'm hearing you clearly. Oh my god, what a lemon. Look at a half a dozen door to door. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Uh, just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. It's just a little blue hazing. And he's an OCP stooge anyway. You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? That did not sound like fun. It's not like he didn't deserve it. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy. All right. The situation at the bank was contained in a relatively smooth fashion. So what did we learn from it? When it's their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh, I almost forgot. Murphy, once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real-life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough! Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. Robocop! Over here! You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's going to do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor? I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city. And without your consent? That's clearly something that I would never do. But you know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So the real question is, what are we going to do about it together? I would like to hear his arguments. Just be careful. He's a snake oil salesman that will say whatever it takes to gain your support. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, Robocop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Robocop is getting a face-to-face -face with the old man himself? I'd tell him all about how the OCP is fucking us over. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't say a word if you actually met him. Why? Did you meet him? Last year's Thanksgiving parade. I was part of a column delegated hey, to shiny. protecting his dog. What? How, come this is the how are you feeling after the incident at the bank? Who Why gives a shit? I heard that you're heading Shut to the up, city. Captain. Once you're out there, I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are.
Hey you, the old man is waiting for you upstairs. This you entrance to the building is off limits. It doesn't matter to you upstairs. The old man's waiting. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See? I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? I agree with all city improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? The enhancements allow me to excel in fulfilling my duty. Not only your actions, but your words confirm that you're an exemplary police officer. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems. And it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? I am happy to comply with any activity that improves effectiveness. You're a good sport. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but... I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? My fellow officers worry about OCP's intention regarding their work. Really? I'll have a word with Becker. Perhaps some new equipment would boost their morale. It would be appreciated. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. Oh. Holy shit! What was that? Robocop. Not such a piece of junk after all. Hey Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there.
OCP wants to raise towers of glass and steel? Eh, go ahead. Just not where we live. but I can't see my FTO anywhere. Could I have his name, please? Over. Sure thing. It's Officer Rat. He should be in one of the dumpsters. That's the only place he belongs, if you catch my drift. Over and out. Right. So much for my field training. Officer Washington, I will be your field trainer for today. Requesting readiness confirmation. Yeah, thanks for the offer, but maybe the others are right. I might not really be cut out for field work. If we live the way others want us to live, what kind of life would it be? Or rather, whose? You're right. I want to be my own man. Officer Washington reporting for field training. Good, you have your body armor on. Well done. What about the rest of your gear? Service pistol? Got it. Spare ammunition? Check. Duty light? Never part with it. Good job. Preparation is the most important. So is knowing your surroundings. Are you familiar with this area? Isn't this the part of the city where it gets really busy like all the time? Please! I think that answers my question. Please! I need your help! Set the radio to my channel and follow me. Roger that! An officer needs to be confident. Straight back, sturdy walk, together with a clear and unshaking voice. Officers, thank God you're here. I really need your help. What happens is... When responding to a request for aid, the first thing is to introduce yourself to the potential victim. Watch and learn. I am Officer Murphy. How do you do, madam? Well, to tell you the truth... The second thing is to reassure the victim of their safety. Madam, you do not need to be afraid anymore. We are here to help you. Yes, but it's not about me. The third thing is... I'm quite familiar with the field training manual, so if you don't mind, I'll take over. Ma'am, could you please tell us what happened? It's my cat, Fortune. He's missing. Fortune is my biggest treasure. I can't lose him. Do you have any idea where he might be? The only place I can think of is the basement. I've also heard some ruckus coming from downstairs today, but the lights aren't working and my eyesight's not so good anymore. Is it okay for us to investigate the basement? Yes, it makes an excellent opportunity for low light training. Let us proceed downstairs. Good luck down there. The cat has that name for a reason. He really brings fortune. So don't you come back Turn without him. Turn your flashlight on. Right. Duty light can be advantageous, but it can also be a liability. Keeping it close to you creates a clear target for the violators. It is good practice to hold the duty light away from your body. I don't remember reading that in the field manual. Did you get it from a different book? No, from experience. Clear. Clear. Hey, I think I just saw the cat. You think I should try to remove these planks? Go ahead. Wow! I didn't know I had so much strength in me. 
You will never know until you try. What was that? Ah, oh, man, I walked into a mess. And now my shoes are covered in strawberry jam. When chasing a suspect, do not rush head first. Take blind corners as wide as possible. Cuts down on being surprised. The fugitive has left a trail. This time, pace yourself. Do not get out of breath during a foot pursuit. You will need stamina to engage the fugitive later. You're right. Oh, looks like he stopped by the spilled paint can. Suspect might be intoxicated. I used to know these kids who gave their cat stomach medicine to make it loopy. Is there a moral to that story? Cats are susceptible to substance misuse. Shh! I heard something. I think it's coming from the piano. That cat must be hiding inside. Let me lure it out. Go ahead. There it is! It's escaping! Darn it! It went through here, but that's a very narrow passage. Let's try the door. It's locked, but I can try to squeeze through that gap. Go ahead. Okay, here I go. It's actually not as bad as I thought. Cool. Now let me get that door open for you. What was that? I'm afraid this time it's a one-way street, Mr. Cat. But where are you hiding? There he is. Oh gosh, Fortune, you look a mess. You think he's all right? The cat is fine. You can take it back to its owner. I will clean up any remaining mess. Okay, see you soon. Washington, do you read me? Loud and clear, what is your status? I got a problem. I'm on the second floor and have a
a visual on multiple armed suspects entering our location. Most of them are heading your way, but I can hear some coming up the stairs. Do not engage yet. Arms and find the most Officer Washington? Sir. I am coming up to have your back. Glad to hear that, sir. Is your status? I'm hit. Remain calm. I am here. I was tense. I need a breather. Officer Washington, your performance today was impressive. Thank you, sir. It means a lot coming from you. You will be fine. It is only a superficial wound. so cold. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening? Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. If you need experience that will enhance your senses, I will gladly be of assistance. I like trying new things, but let me take a rain check on that. Nah, tell me. What's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gale. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Any witnesses? Ah, uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? 
If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go! What are you looking for? So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. Okay, let's start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible. Saints, uh, cosmos, or whatever. Let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Should we ask the owner? <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea about movies. He thinks that Salamanca deserved the Golden Piston for the best picture. I heard that. I think I found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me Sire. But here it is. Isn't that the tape we're looking for? Tape? What? What tape? You like movies? Do you want to shoot an action movie? I, I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera, action! I need a hand over here! Do you need assistance? I'll torch you to First, I hear a bunch of movie pun. Where is Pickles? He ran out the back door. You're all right. Talk. Ah, uh, I overheard some torchhead saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it, so they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so I needed help. You will need even more help for lying to me. Shit. I, I don't even know if you're joking or not. I, I fucked up. I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours. Just don't give in to pressure. That's a stellar one, dude. But excuse me if I don't comply, alright? There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is... All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from Nuke Distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time?
I am not doing this as a police officer. I am doing it as a friend. Hand over the case. You, you can't do this to me, man. I just did. Fuck you, Tin Man. I earn that money fair and square. Greetings, citizen. Ah, the best cop in the hood is back. How can I be of service? I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new, and I don't know where I put the manual. Stand back. Go on, then. Let's see how it's done. I thought you knew how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. So, do you know what the problem is? Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car not starting. I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure... I'm guessing it's an easy fix. It started. We own the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. Wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't, but he asked me if I do paint jobs too. Then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean-looking bird onto his gas tank. Why do you think the design was intended for a tattoo? The page he handed me had other graphics, which were clearly tattoo designs. And, as far as I remember, it had the address of a tattoo parlor that's close by printed on the bottom of the page. What was the design you sprayed onto his motorcycle? It was some sort of bird, but I'm, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a botanist. Thank you for the information. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor. Some idiot confused the courthouse with the bank again. No, I heard one of the accused decided to defend himself, but I think he took things too literally.
full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo, then. It'll really bring out that jawline. How about I bring out your jawline? Hey, man, no pressure. I was just trying to be helpful. Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. What next? You gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red inker? Do you? You still here? I don't want my customers to confuse my parlor for an auto shop. I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Uh, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. Ah, oh, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Ugh. I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. I'm so glad you're here. I can deal with screams and fights, but this music is driving me crazy. My head is, it's, it's like a hangover. Yourself. 
He needed us to extract brains from corpses. Five brains. He would never say Michael keeps his cards close to his chest. Where is he? Where now? I bet it be. Operator, requesting an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss. Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town, continuing pursuit. I hate the day shift. your room, sweetheart. It's just someone on the staircase. So OCP is ordering you to break into the apartment of a reporter they don't like? Any comment before I write a story on that? I am here to investigate domestic terrorism. OCP sent you to my safe house because they want to know what I have on them after the bank incident. I assume there is more if you cannot store everything here. I found a rental bill for a locker in a storage facility. Make up your mind. First you let me go at the bank, and now, when I'm actually starting to figure out what the OCP scam is all about, 
You show up and ruin this. Do you want to help OCP avoid liability? Show me your evidence and I will make the culprits regret their deeds. So far you're just making my road to the goal harder. It turns out I was right. That thing that OCP plans to do with charging residents of old Detroit with additional costs, it will lead to the illegal expulsion of thousands of people if you help OCP silence me. Explain. Not so fast. I need to be able to trust you first. At the bank, you've proved that you are more than just a tool programmed to obey OCP, but now the stakes are higher. What is it that you expect? Since you're here, I fully expect someone from OCP to go and check my locker. I need to protect what's inside, but there's a meeting I need to keep an eye on. Too much depends on it. I will not be involved in the smuggling of contraband. There's nothing illegal about my request. The rest you can leave to OCP to pick up. I need to just spring clean my out-of-date documents anyway. Call me once you secure the box. Man, it's RoboCop. So what? We're just sitting here enjoying the moment. Nothing suspicious. Right, officer? Shouldn't we give the fellas the signal? We should just shut up and smile like the exemplary citizens that we are. Are you lost, officer? I can show you the exit if you want. Trouble with the lock. Uh, seems that I forgot the key, but, uh... You will tell your story at the station. Are you sure you have enough seats in your car to take us all? If you do not come quietly, I will not need any. It's that metal yeah. freak!
Well, well, well. Looks like Mr. Becker was right. You're up to something behind his back. These things are supposed to go to Mr. Becker, I reckon. What will interest Becker is in locker number 17. The contents of this box are none of OCP's concern. I'll have to tell Mr. Becker that you have not given us all the material. I assure you that it will end up worse for you than for me. So, I'm guessing you have my stuff. Did OCP arrive at the party? They tracked my location. Because they trust you so much. There may be a bomb inside, or the head of my sworn enemy. Do you want to know what's inside? If there is evidence of a crime, I would like to know it. Police officer, first and foremost. In the box are my personal belongings. Letters, memorabilia, things that actually matter to me. When you become too tough to hit directly, the scum will try to get to you through your loved ones. I understand. So we have even more in common. Once OCP takes care of my old documents, I'll have the space to deal with the Delta City issue and help the people of old Detroit. You've helped them already, though. Thank you. Ronnie's Grocery. Leave the box there. What do you mean, a dollar? It's t I have Samantha's belongings. Ah, uh, yes. I'm glad you're helping her. Without that girl, OCP would put us all on the street. Still might. They did a number on a lot of families. But that's not a story for me to tell. <laughs> 